Hello, this is Rachel Reisner. I'm a certified professional pet sitter in Montreal, Canada. I seem to be continuing my series on <laughs> pet water fountains. And this here is the Homey um, Pet Drinking Water Fountain. You can get it from Amazon. And it's very similar to um, the other popular bubbler cat water fountain that cat it, except it's about half the size. So the Cadet water fountain is about three liters, and this one, I think it's 1.6 liters. So I'm just gonna disassemble it and reassemble it like in my other videos. So um, as I said, it's a bubbler style water fountain. So the water um, is put into the bowl basin area, and then the motor bubbles it up here through the flower, and then it streams down um, here and through to the edges and then goes through the filter. So here on the top, it, it's pretty. It's got this little yellow center like a flower so that screws off and that controls how much water comes out. So you can have it just as a trickle or it can be um, a little more gushing. So it just depends on what you like. This comes out too very easily. And it's fairly well made. It's not going to break so can take that apart. Here is the replaceable charcoal filter and make sure that when you do wash your pet water fountain using warm soapy water, do not use warm soapy water on your replaceable charcoal filter. Only you can rinse it out maybe with cold water and that's it. <laughs> Nothing else. So I just washed this so it's nice and clean, still a little wet, so that comes out. I've actually even seen clients use bubbler style water fountains like this without the filter. I don't know how hard that is on the motor, if it shortens the lifespan of the motor, or if you regularly keep it clean, if it's okay. So that's just something I see. And then it has this um, motor that's very similar to all the other pet fountain motors that I've seen. So it comes apart. You do have to regularly take it apart and clean it because it does accumulate biofilm, bacteria, um, fur, dirt, you know, other things. So you do have to take it apart. So it does come apart easily. That comes off. That comes off too. And it has this part. And the trouble I had also with the cat it, <laughs> but not with the Drinkwell series, is that it's just too small for my fingers. It's only this part, this little fan part thing is, um, is uh, I'm just gonna use a fork here, is just attached by a magnet. So it does come out very easily. So I'm just gonna use this fork to help bring it out for me. And what you do is when you clean it is you use, um, I use a um, pipe cleaner to clean inside there and also a small toothbrush as well to get the edges. And then you can just pop it back in very easily. And this is a little tricky because this um, this has to go back a certain way. This opening here goes on the top where the opening is. That comes out, the satisfying click. That goes back in. And this motor, the other back side comes out too. So you can also take that out and scrub it. I'm of the view that if you can take it apart, you should, and you should clean it because you don't know if maybe some bacteria or things are gonna get through this little hole here where the um, the power cable is. So you just wanna make sure that your water fountain, your pet water fountain is as clean as possible. So it attaches back on with these suction cups and make sure that the, um, the tube part is in the center. So it bubbles up. So it bubbles up properly. And then this part is not detachable. So that's all that you can detach. So when you're cleaning it, you wanna clean this out thoroughly. And then you can put it back together. Just put that back on. It fits very well together. And this one, the filters, there is a direction. So it does have these um, I don't know, ridges or things that fit into those. You put it down there. That goes on. That goes on. That goes on. Great and see it wasn't too hard, so I'll take it apart again. Just so you can see, I'll try to be quick this time because these videos are a little bit longer than I would have liked. One thing of note when you have a bubbler style water fountain like this where the water bubbles up from the bottom, 
um, is that you do want to have another bowl of water available for the cat just in case the power goes out and um, the cat uh, then has no access to water because uh, unfortunately with the bubbler style water fountains when the power goes out because the water only bubbles up there's no bowl from them to drink from um, they can't get to the water when the power goes out so when you do have a bubbler cell water fountain like this you do want to have an alternate source of water just a bowl of water somewhere could be right next door to the right next to the water fountain or in another room because they do recommend that um, it is recommended to put your cat's water a little distance from the food dishes because um, it will encourage them to drink more. They, they tend not to drink as much when their food is right next to their water dishes. Okay, so see it assembles and disassembles very easily. It's very sturdy, not flimsy. And um, so you can fill it up, and also it has this very helpful little gauge here so that that is the uh, maximum fill line. So you do, they do have a warning on the motor. It says, warning, do not run the pump dry, which means don't let the water get all the way down to there. You want your water to be as high as possible so that the motor doesn't run and overheat and then die. Also, you know, then your cats won't have access to water. And just because this cat water fountain um, holds all this amount of water, um, it doesn't give you permission to just fill it at the beginning of the week and then forget about it and then maybe fill it at the uh, end of the week. You do have to clean it regularly, maybe every two to three days, just to make sure that you clean off all the biofilm and the hard water deposits and, um, um, make sure that your cat has access to clean, fresh water that's nice and full, and um, and that. But otherwise, I think it's um, it's a nice, compact, bubbler style water fountain. It's cute. I think it does come with like a little. Um, uh, this client doesn't have it, but it does come with a little mat, so it, it's cute, you know. And um, I did get permission from the client to um, to film and post this video. So once again, my name is Rachel Reisner. I'm a certified professional pet in Montreal, Canada, and um, this is the Homey Pet Drinking Water Fountain. Thanks and have a great day.